Hello everyone. Now today we are going to see brakes. So what is exactly brakes? Brakes are nothing but it is a mechanical device which is used to just restrict the motion of the wheels. So there are different types of brakes. Now in this case we are having drum brake, disc brake and many more. So this is the basic line diagram of a four wheeler where the brakes they have been applied. So there are now uh, systems such as drum brakes are there, disc brakes are there, now emergency brake that is that we are called as a hand brake and these are the brake lines, means the pressure uh, pressure lines which are carrying the high pressure as fuel and then master cylinder and many more. So now here, means brakes is nothing but, it is nothing but friction in which the resistance to motion between the two objects which is taking place for the brakes. Then there are different types of brake in which first is dry friction brake. So this is the diagram. Second is greasy. This is the wheel bearing. Third is viscous. That is we use the IC engine. Then friction varies with the roughness of the surface. Is the surface values for different means they will be having different surface roughness values as per the material. Then uh, these are the static friction, kinetic friction. Then afterwards friction between the drum or shoes or pads or rotors is slows the means it will be used to restrict the motion of the car. So this is the diagram shown for the means uh, this is the drum brake here and this is the disc brake first part. Then friction between tires and roads also stops the car. First is the drum shoe, this is the drum shoe, then these are the pad and rotors, and this is the friction between tire and road. So now air brakes, in, there are different types of brakes, such as air brakes in which we are using air as a working medium, then hydraulic brakes in which we are using hydraulic fluid as a working media to just uh, stop the or to transmit the pressure. Then here, two pistons of same size will travel the same distance for the same force. And if the piston, small piston acts on last piston, then it will travel with more force due to shorter distance. So this is the basic phenomena for transforming how the pressure lines, they are working. So brake action is taking place, means brake pedal is connected to the master cylinder here. If you see initially, this is the brake pedal here. Now it is being connected to the master cylinder. Then afterwards, each wheel to the wheel cylinder, rear and front, is this master cylinder is attached to the rear part as well as to the front as a caliper. These are the caliper. Then each wheel to the drum, drum wheel is for the rear and is for the front. And each wheel has a shoe. So these are the shoes which are attached to the drum and the inner part of the periphery of the drum and pads they are attached on the disc for the front wheel. So now how braking action takes place? When brake pedal is placed, brake fluid travels from the master cylinder to the caliper or wheel cylinder, pushing the piston outward. And thirds this action pushes the shoes against the drum or the pad, against the rotating rotor. So this is the system, how it works. So these are the front wheel, these are the rear wheel. So here, when you apply the brake, this is the master cylinder, which will traveling the pressurized fluid towards the this means towards the pad here for the front uh, front wheel and towards these pads, brake shoes to, for the rear wheels. So when the vehicle it moves, most of the weight is shifted to the front side. If you see, when your vehicle is you are stopping, so you will be having a jerk on the front side. And most of the work is means braking action is taking place in the front wheel. So brake lining is made up of various materials such as asbestos and they are being bonded or glued on the metal surface. So these are the brake lining materials. And some of them they are being riveted. This, uh, they are been either glued or some, some of them they are being riveted. So brake lining material it must be strong enough to absorb the heat and it should be last for long life and should save the life of the drum and rotor from getting it wear quickly. So this brake they are found on front most of the front of the vehicles and uh, they will have two pads and caliper squeeze the pad against the disc when brakes they are applied and this brake works much better than the drum brake as they are cooler means they are open to atmosphere so whatever the heat is generated due to the friction it may get dissipated to the out atmosphere so these are the choices for metallic semi-metallic ceramic material for the disc brake so wear sensors, some of the systems they have wear sensors, they, that will indicate directly the wear or uh, particularly the, how the material is being get wear out. 
that life of the cycle can be also just get it by using the various sensors. So when we just means when when we are also second thing is that when we are going to know that how the brakes they are being there, there will be some squealing noise will be uh, taking place. So when such type of noise is taking place, we should uh, we should be uh, able to get know that the brake linings material they have been now that life has been ended. So in that case we have to replace that pad. So drum brakes, they are on the rear wheel. So what are the elements present in the drum brake? So if you see, this is the one brake pad, this is another brake pad. So with the help of spring, or with the help of this master cylinder system, these two brake pads, they have been uh, hold with respect to each other. And now with the help of pressure lines, these master cylinders, means the brake cylinders will work so that they will try to, when braking action takes place, they will try to move the brake pad towards the drum. So rear brakes they are self-adjusting, they adjust when the wheel is reversed and brakes they are applied. They can be manually adjusted and primary shoe sits in the front wheel and secondary shoes towards the rear. So we have to replace when there is change in its size. So here we are setting the uh, steps of the brake pads. So this is the parking brake. So with the help of the levers, this hand lever, we can use that hand brake. The parking brake is also called a hand brake. So how the emergency brake? So with the help of that hand lever, directly this lever is attached to the driver seat. So here that lever is known as hand brake lever. So when you apply that lever, so directly instead of this piston, this directly drum will get in contact, this, sorry, this brake pad will get in contact with the drum and there will be emergency brake will be applied. So this is how the master cylinder works. So these are the reservoirs, and these are the brake pedal, the pressure systems. If the pressure speed is passed through the body tubes. The tubes they are called as body tubes. Okay. So these are the what are the problems? If there is leakage is there, then we have to avoid that leakage. So here this dual brake system, it will work. Front brakes they are on different lines of the rear. And there are two compartments for the brake fluid. One is secondary and another first is primary. So power brakes assist in braking when pedal is pressed. So hydraulic boosters, vacuum boosters, we are be using. So this is the pressure differential wall. This pressure differential wall is used to just supply the fuel where the brake requirement is maximum. So with the help of this pressure differential wall, through the body tubes, the pressure is minimized. So this is the metering wall, so as to supply the metered fluid, working fluid towards the pressure uh, pressure lines. So in this way, it works. It will really prevents the breakings from applying until the rear brake shoes are in contact with the drug. So this is the basic use of metering wall. And proportionate wall, so this is the, nothing but the proportionate wall. Here, if you see, these are the body tubes. These are the body tubes which are passed from the master cylinder towards the drum or pad in front of rear. Is these body tubes are nothing but the hydraulic lines. And during the hard braking, vehicle weight is turned on the front side that I have told already. So this is the combination of wall here. If you see, there is two combination of walls we are using. Now these lines they are going from the master cylinder and now they are going to the rear and front side. This is the pressure differential one. So, what are the brake fluids we will be using? So, dot three, dot four, dot five. So, as per the norms, that these are the fluids which we are using as a brake fluid. So, its properties should be there in high boiling point, then water tolerance, then low freezing point, and non freezing. So, this should be the properties. As well, it should be always to in order to prevent moisture in the system. So, these are the properties that sh should be ensured by the brake fluid. So problems, so spongy brakes are caused if air gets in the system. Dragging is all caused if vehicle is given partial brakes applied. And bend on run out rotor can be grown to make it true. So loss of brake pedal will be leaking in the system of master cylinder. So adjustment will be required. Then uh, squeezing action should be also avoided. And caliper as well as bad tire alignment should be also done. Thank you.